Hey guys, it's that time again, and uh, it's been eight months now since I overate or binge ate, and one more month, and I have carried this thing to term. <laughs> but uh, this is obviously way longer than I've ever went. This is way different than anything I've ever done. This um, is new for me. Uh, you know, and, and I'm a guy who had dieted his whole life, had fought his whole life, and, and some of you remember that I lost 250 pounds before. Uh, so for this to be new now, uh, it's kind of a big deal because I've been through it all, and um, this is different. This is so much different. This is sustainable. It's, uh, you know, I found something that works. I, I, I finally realized after so long that I had no control over my situation. And that was a hard pill for me to swallow because I'm stubborn. And, uh, you know, I don't like to think that I'm powerless against, you know, against something so big that was just wrecking my life. But uh, I, I just had that thought at one point, like, would I do this to myself? Because, you know, the bigger I got, you know, the more stretched out my skin got, you know, there's a point of no return that I long passed with that. Uh, and, you know, I was nearly at death's door and it's at, you know, at one point I just had to realize, Hey, you know, this isn't something that I want. You know, you see a, a really overweight person and you might look at them and be like, you know, that's terrible that they chose that. And I feel like I didn't choose that. Uh, it was just something that was out of my control and I couldn't figure out how to get a handle on it. And this year, on January 3rd, eight months ago today, I didn't figure out how to get a handle on it, but I took uh, my first step towards figuring it out. And, you know, two or three months after that, I uh, stumbled, thanks to my friend Rob Shed for Life uh, and my nutritionist, I stumbled into the right door finally <laughs> after all this time and uh and i've embraced that because of how hectic my life was and how much i didn't want things to go the way they were i didn't want to look like i looked i didn't want to feel like i felt uh i didn't want anything nothing in my life was the way i wanted it at all uh so that's dexter back there dexter say hi he says hi in his own way um so, uh, you know, in order, and I make these each month as, as kind of a, in the thick of it, uh, journal for myself, really, um, just to, to force myself to, to reflect at least once a month on where I, where I came from and where I am now. Uh, today I've been walking around the woods all day since, you know, like 10 in the morning and, uh. You know, I, I've done, I, I can do so much more than I ever could. And, and all these things I'm doing now are things I would have never been able to do before. So I have to remind myself of that because my, my mindset is just like everyone can walk, you know, uh, unless they're disabled in some way they can walk. And the only reason you couldn't is because you gained so much weight because you were just eating so much because you wouldn't stop. And of course, I'm not very kind to myself. Um, so I, I kind of have to force it. And this is just, you know, my monthly reminder that, hey, you've done this for eight months every single day for eight months. And that's freaking amazing. That's something you've never, ever been able to come close to. And, you know, it's just, it's not a huge struggle. It's not, it's not super easy or anything. I mean, there are definitely challenging times, but you know, as I've said before, once you get that shit pointed in the right direction, you just got to keep it there. You just have to keep it from going off course. And that's a hell of a lot easier than doing the 180 at the beginning. Because uh, doing the 180, you know, that's changing everything. And that's, you know, uh, throwing your whole life up in the air and, and, and rearranging it in, in scary and new ways that you've never done. So, uh, yeah, um, summer's winding down here and eight months. Uh, I, I will never, no matter what happens, really, I'll never be able to look back at 2017 and say that I wasted that year, which I could say about 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11, and 10. <laughs> so I think 2009 was my last good year as far as, you know, health-wise. So, uh, 
yeah, you know, this is this is the best I've ever done by far. And I really look forward to what the future holds. Uh, this last month has been tough for me. Uh, I, I last week or last month when I made this video, you know, I was really looking forward and, and optimistic. And then you know, how life does uh, just too many gut punches and uh, a lot of anxiety and depression and, and stuff. And I've had to work through it, but uh, through it all, through my birthday and my sister's birthday and my mom's birthday and the eclipse. Uh, I, I'd never ate anything off plan and I've, I've not over ate or binged or, or given in to anything. Uh, and that's something, you know, it, it, even though I, I've done it for eight months straight, it's still something when I do it, it still matters. It's still important. Uh, and it's, you know, sometimes it's difficult, but, uh, what I've done is just kind of make it not an option in my head. I, I shut it down immediately because I know that that's, that's not going anywhere good. Uh, I haven't weighed. Uh, last time I weighed was like a month and a half ago, I think, and I had lost 75 pounds. I was at 331, down from the 406 I was at January 3rd. Uh, actually, that was what I weighed here. Um, but at the doctor, I weighed 411 on January 3rd. Uh, if you watch my video, that uh, long looking back video, I, I say, I think, 411. Um, and I had to go back to the doctor recently and I stepped on the scale and I actually did look, uh, and I, I'm always seven pounds heavier there than I am here. I don't know if it's like I got heavy clothes or whatever, but, uh, it said 329 when I went to the doctor, which was a few weeks ago. Uh, and that was from 411 on January 3rd. So, you know, I, I looked just because it was the first time I'd been back since then and I just wanted to see that. I just wanted to see what I had done in that time. Um, so, you know, a lot of a lot of progress this year and I, I'm looking to just finish it out as strong as I can. Uh, I got three three good months. Well, four all through through December. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do for the new year and, and just really close out 2017 as the best year of my life as far as what I've done for myself. Hopefully better years of my life are ahead as far as enjoying and, you know, uh, not being a struggle so much, but uh, this is definitely the best I've ever done. So eight months. Uh, it's awesome. It feels good. It feels great. It's, it's a lot better feeling than that feeling of going to bed every night disappointed in yourself and feeling hopeless and helpless uh at least you know through everything i have what i've done for myself and no one can take that away um and i'm going all the way i say it and i mean it and i mean it more than i did last month i'm going all the way uh 200 and below i don't know what my idea weight will really be i've always aimed for 200 because it's been this gold dream and i got so close i got to 217 in like 2008, 2009, and then the wheels fell off and it shot right back up. Uh, so, you know, that's that's off in the distance, but um, that 200 mark will be really special for me. Uh, and then I'm probably below it, so, but we'll see. Um, anyway, the, the point is, you know, I'm just going to keep doing this and, and I will find my ideal weight. That's not so much what the scale says. Uh, the only reason I am as big as I am is because of the binge eating and that hasn't happened in eight months. So if I keep that up, you know, everything else takes care of itself, but I am going to be looking, you know, getting more active and, uh, working on my 5k time. Cause that's a, a fun thing that I did before. And I really battled that and I would really love to, to get back into that kind of shape, um, and go beyond what I had accomplished the first time. Uh, that's again, way off, but uh, you got to start somewhere. So, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to doing that, and I hope you guys are all doing well, and thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for supporting me and leaving your encouraging comments or likes or, you know, if you're just giving me a little fist bump from your computer, and, and I never even know who you are, thank you, but I do wish that you would comment, because I like knowing that people are out there and supportive, it helps me a lot. Uh, it's a lonely road, but it's one that we all go down, and I think... Uh, it's not as lonely when we go down it together. So, uh, till next time, guys. Keep on killing, killing it.
and Buckle Love. I'll talk to you soon.